हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय एस ए पी पी ऑन हाना इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ टी एस अवेलेबल इन एस ए पी पी डब्ल्यू सो देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ टी एस ओज अवेलेबल इन एस ए पी पी डब्ल्यू स्टैंडर्ड डी एस ओ डायरेक्ट अपडेट डी एस ओ एंड राइट ऑप्टिमाइज डी एस ओ इन इंटर इन इंटरव्यू दिस इज मोस्ट फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्क क्वेश्चन so it's very basic question but uh, every time i saw interviewer used to ask this question so today i'm explaining about the types of dso first type is write optimized dso so in write optimized dso we are having only one active table so in that active table we will be having uh, three types of fields Te technical keys technical keys means a request number packet number and record number those technical keys you don't need to create by default they will going to create semantic keys and data fields so in write optimized dso we can also have a option to allow duplicate records or not allow duplicate records but here you can see we are having three fields technical keys semantic keys and data field so you know that if you are loading uh, 100 records for all 100 record technical key will be unique key so then how we are going to uh, identify duplicate record so for this purpose semantic key is being utilized to identify duplicate record so write optimized dso also support etl so etl extraction transformation and load so delta yes delta mechanism is supported but here we know that without change log table we cannot load delta then how uh, write optimized dso don't have change log table then how we can load delta so here delta is supported uh, on a base of request number present in a active data table data mart supported means loading to the next target is supported yes next one is a um, sorry i have write down the incorrect name that is actually direct update dso okay in direct update dso we are also having only active data table uh only two fields key fields and data fields are available so etl is not supported data mart supports and delta is also not supported okay. next one is a standard dso so in standard dso most widely used in development so this is uh, there are three types of tables for standard standard dso new data table active table and change log table whenever we perform data load then data first loaded into the new data table after activation is go goes into the active table and respective change changes are log into the change log table for a standard dso we are having technical keys semantic keys and data field yes standard dso supports etl also support data mart and delta so in standard dso delta is being fetched from the change log table. hope you like this video and you got a knowledge about the types of dso if you like this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel for more and more interview question videos thank you have a nice